Yes, good morning everybody. You're welcome to Womogo Team's breakfast session this Saturday, the 3rd of September 2022. Um, today, I would like to give you a brief uh, look around uh, the ingredients of breakfast. So, um, we start from we start from the left. Some things are very obvious. For example, we have um, tomatoes. Tomatoes, I'll because because I'm preparing breakfast for two of us. Tomatoes I'll use four. So I'll use the ones that the ones that we have used before. And this these were tomatoes that these were tomatoes that we grew in our garden. So. Um, they will not constitute the four tomatoes that I will use. This one, I will just put it as an extra. We will we'll eat it. But then we'll, we'll eat one, two, three, and then I'll go four. Okay, tomatoes. We have saka water, as usual. Saka water. <laughs> and then we have apple and mango juice. Apple and mango juice. Then we have what, what, white people call pasticho nuts but basically this is kaliri eh? kaliri mm? kaliri is very nice we used to grow it in uganda northern uganda kaliri uh, grows like ground nuts exactly and then you can boil it it's very nice when it is boiled with salt but what uh, these people are doing here is they um, they're getting it let me see if i can get the country in which these pasticho nuts are coming from uh, quickly i can't i can't see i can't i can't see that you know this is wrong you know because if, if something doesn't grow in your country you should you should you should be clear where it is coming from you understand you know you cannot be pretending that is growing in your back garden so kaliri yeah then we have a uh, groundnut butter od this is nancy's groundnut butter nancy kakanyera nancy kakanyera's groundnut butter uh, smooth uh, for they do for me a special they, they do for me a special they they put salt in mine because i, I want it for I want it for eating banana, I want it for eating cassava, I want it for eating potato, sweet potato. Um, I want it for, I can I can mix it with honey as well. And then I just take it with any, any of those things that I mentioned earlier on, banana, potato, and um, cassava, you know, yeah. So that, and then we have two eggs each two eggs okay so two eggs each because i'm preparing breakfast for two and then we have here um of all uh, uh mushroom of all yeah so uh this mushroom i'm going to use them all yeah i'm going to use them all just fry them wash and then fry them in uh in oil and also I have two uh two mutungulu, two uh what is it called kind onion. Eh? Two mutungulu or two onion. And then for breakfast also we have today I have steamed uh cassava. Now this cassava is, is all steamed and ready, soft and can be eaten like this straight away, right? Can eat it like this. Mmm. 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 Very yummy. So you steam cassava with um um with salt, okay? Steamed. But what we are going to do, we are going to we are going to um um deep fry this cassava again so that it is crispy. And nice, so we'll deep fry it, okay, in the deep fryer. Hmm? 
and the cassava will be nice and crispy. Then that's it. Um, so um, that's the stove. I haven't washed the, the dishes yet, so that's something that I do after breakfast. So um, I haven't washed the dishes. My washing machine has broken down, so I need to replace it. I'm going back. I'm going to the shop now after breakfast to buy a new washing machine. The dishwasher is there, but the dishwasher, if you don't have enough dish, there's no need to use it. You just wash the dish with your hands. Um, normally, um, um, when we have visitors and we, or we have a party, then the ladies, you know, use the dishwasher to wash many plates that have been used, you know? Okay? So I have a little.